Hello, I'm Dr. Harry Croft. I'm a former Army psychiatrist in private practice here in San Antonio, Texas. Over the last 12 or 13 years, I've had the honor of evaluating more than 7,000 veterans for disability, most of whom suffer from PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. As a result of my experience with these vets, I, along with my co-author, Reverend Dr. Chris Parker, wrote the book, I Always Sit With My Back to the Wall, and its accompanying website, www.mybacktothewall.com, in order to help veterans and those who care for and about them better deal with post-traumatic stress disorder as a symptom or a disorder. But today, what I want to talk about is a another topic, and that is veterans in the workplace, especially veterans with PTSD going into the workplace. And it's a hot topic these days because many businesses are trying to hire veterans. It's a cool thing to do. You get a tax break. Uh, uh, it's the in thing to do right now, and many want to do right by our veterans by doing so. However, there are some issues involved, and that's what I'd like to talk about in this web log. So, I'm going to talk about uh, workplace issues from two different standpoints. That of the veteran, who is trying to get employed, and uh, that of the employer, who is hiring and employing the veteran. So, let's start with issues of surrounding the vets themselves. Number one, I think it's important for a veteran to recognize what their skill sets are. Many veterans tell me, look, I don't know what I can do. I was in the artillery. I was in the infantry. And they don't realize that in the military, they had to take training, both basic training and advanced training, so they're able to learn. They're able to work in groups. They're able to accomplish the mission. They're able to be dedicated to themselves, the service, and those around them. And all of those are skill sets that can be valuable in the workplace. <music>